How to connect your eBay store to AutoDS step by step. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're using AutoDS to automate your dropshipping business, one of the most powerful integrations you can set up is with your eBay store. Connecting your eBay account to AutoDS unlocks automation tools like product importing, stock monitoring, auto ordering, and price updates all running in the background while you focus on growing your business. In today's video, I'll walk you through exactly on how you can connect your eBay store to AutoDS, step by step. So even if you're a total complete beginner, stick around until the end of the video to go ahead and watch the full tutorial and I'll show you some common issues people face and how to fix them quickly. Before we proceed, all of the mentioned tools are going to be on the description box below, so make sure to check it out. First things first, what is AutoDS and why use it with eBay? So before we dive into the steps, let's talk briefly about why this connection matters. So basically, AutoDS is an all-in-one dropshipping automation tool that lets you import products, fulfill orders automatically, update tracking numbers, and monitor pricing all from one dashboard. So when you connect it to your eBay store, you can go ahead and import products from AliExpress, Amazon, Walmart, and more. It automatically syncs inventory and pricing. It fulfills orders with one click or completely automatically, and it saves hours of manual work every single week. Now. Let's go ahead and get everything ready for setup. So, a preparation checklist, what you need first. First things first, you need an active eBay seller account with no major selling limits. You need a registered AutoDS account, a verified PayPal or bank account connected to your eBay for payments, and you need to go ahead and make sure browser pop-up blocker is turned off. This is important for connecting accounts. Now, as an optional, you, a, you also need a few product listing on eBay already, though not required. So, the first thing that you want to do is to simply head over to AutoDS, and from here you then want to click on the Get Started button. Right after clicking on the Get Started, you will then be prompted to simply log in your account, but the thing that you have to look at right here is going to go ahead and select your selling channel. Of course, in our case, we then want to select eBay right here. After clicking on eBay, it will then prompt us back into our eBay seller account. And from there, you could just go ahead and proceed by logging in your eBay account. Now, a new window will pop up asking you to log in your eBay seller account. You then want to enter your credentials, click on sign in, and click to agree to authorize AutoDS to access your account. Now this step is secure and necessary to AutoDS that so they can manage listing and orders on your behalf. Now once completed, AutoDS will show a confirmation message that your eBay store is now officially linked. You'll see your stores listed under the store section with the green active status button or message so if you have multiple ebay stores you can repeat this process for each one now optional settings to go ahead and configure after connection after your connection is connected i recommend configuring the following number one is going to be the order or auto ordering so you just want to go to the orders tab enable auto ordering and connect your paypal or credit card as the functioning fund or funding fund the next thing that I want you to, to enable is going to be the tracking updates. Enable the feature to automatically update tracking numbers to your customer. Third, we have the price and stock monitoring. So you want to set your rules for how often prices and stock levels should sync. And lastly, messages or message automation. So if you want AutoDS to auto reply to customer messages, you want to enable that in the messaging tab. All of these settings help your business run hands-free or automatically. Now let's talk about some common issues and how to simply fix them. So let's go over some few common issues users face and how to solve them. 
Number one is that eBay won't authorize AutoDS. You want to make sure that your pop-up blockers are off. You want to ensure that you're using the main seller account, not a secondary user. And you want to go ahead and make sure that you're not suspended or limited by eBay because the connection won't work. The second problem is going to be showing the store status as disconnected on your AutoDS account. This usually means that you've changed your eBay passwords or revoked permissions. So just click on the reconnect button in the AutoDS dashboard to reauthorize or authorize the connection again. Third is listing not syncing properly. You just want to go to the products tab and manually refresh the page. Double click that your supplier settings are correct or I mean double check that your supplier's settings are correct. And lastly, some items may be restricted by eBay or flagged as Vero products, so it will not go ahead and sync the products properly. Now for the last problem is the auto orders not going through. You just want to make sure that your payment methods is set up and verified and you want to check order logs under orders to see if many errors are listed. And so some final tips for eBay and AutoDS users. Here are a few bonus tips to help you get the most out of this integration. Number one is you want to keep your selling limits in mind. eBay may cap how many items you can list as a new seller. You want to avoid Vero item. Use the AutoDS Vero scanner to stay compliant with eBay rules. You want to use GTC or Good Till Cancelled listing to keep your inventory live and synced. And lastly, you want to monitor your performance. You want to use AutoDS Analytics tool to see which product are performing best. And so, importing products from other dropshipping or supported suppliers is really easy. All you have to do is to go ahead and download the AutoDS dropshipping helper from the official Chrome web extension. So from here, you just want to go ahead and navigate through one of the supported suppliers. For example, it could be AliExpress, Tamu, Walmart, and more. Let's go ahead and say that I want to go ahead and take a product from eBay. All we have to do to go ahead and simply import product with a single click is to click on a product that we want to add into our store. Let's go ahead and say that I want to add this exact product all we have to do is to simply click on the chrome extension and from there we then have to click on import but before importing you want to make sure to edit out the listing name the description the pricing and more and so that's it your ebay store is now connected to AutoDS and ready to run on autopilot this setup can seriously streamline your dropshipping workflow reduce errors, and help you scale faster without getting bogged down by repetitive tasks. If this video has been helpful, leave a like, subscribe, and follow us for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.